What is up everybody, Ron Blue back again with another video for you guys. Um, before we start this video, I just want to say rest in peace to Coolio. Um, I found out in the news a few hours ago that he passed at the age of 59, which is still very, very young. Um, and so I'm sending my condolences to his family, um, kids, if he has any. But he was such a legend in, in the hip hop community. So this was a, a detrimental loss. Um, so rest in peace uh, to Coolio. My condolences to his family and friends. Um, we have a guitar lesson here, um, Gangster's Paradise, which is one of his most iconic songs. Probably one, one of the top most iconic songs in hip hop in general. The beat, everything about it is fire. Um, so we're just going to break it down because it is very simple. Um, so without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Now that we actually did the playthrough, let's just jump right into the actual uh, chords here. So, um, it is majority power, well, it's all power chords, actually. So, these are, like, a very good beginner. Um, this is a very good beginner lesson for those of you all who may not know how to do bar chords just yet. This is a perfect introduction to it. So, um, what you're going to do is use your index finger, put that on the fifth string or A string, third fret. Then you're going to use your ring finger, put that on the fifth fret of the fourth string. Your pinky is right behind it on the same fret, fifth fret, but third string. And that is your, that is a power chord. Right? So you kind of hear it already, really. Now what's cool about these power chords, like I teach in a lot of my guitar lessons that um, give me, you know, uh, access to repeat myself really is once you learn these power chords guys on the fifth string and the sixth string you can use it all up and down the fretboard so this is um they use power chords in nirvana smell like team spirit right so um these once you memorize the shape you can use it up and down the fretboard um so anyway back to the lesson uh we have that C uh, power chord. Now we use that same shape, and we're just use we're bringing everything to that second fret from the third to the second fret. Right. So we have. Right. So that is the very basic way to play that right so you just go back and forth from that second uh second fret to that third fret but really in actuality this is the bass line that's that passing passing note or chord whatever So, um, what we're going to do, so, is, let's, let's start from, you know, the, the top, really. So, we have that C to that B, right? Back to the C. Now, here's the passing one. So, now, with this, again, the shape still remains the same, but now, your, your index finger's on that six string third fret and and so you bring everything up from that c uh power chord you bring every last finger that you're already using up one and that is your g power chord back to the c we actually have the main line of the song or the main riff you can literally do this the whole time 
Um, what we're gonna do actually too, what I actually added on to my uh, interpretation of the song was kind of like a... Right, just to, just to have like a definitely more metal type of sound. Um, but uh, cause I love like the choir singing and then that, like that kind of like fall, it's like a fall. But basically what I'm doing is I'm on the D now power chord, same shape. And then I'm bringing it back to that B power chord. Back to the beginning, right? But anyway, let's get into um, LV's part, right? So it's a... Uh... Uh. Right? So, um, what we're doing, we're staying on literally one string, which is going to make this a whole lot easier and a whole lot easier to explain. But what we're doing is using our index finger, putting mm -hmm. that on the third string, fifth fret. So, tell me why. So, five, five, uh, eight, right? Five, five, eight, ten. Five, five, eight, ten, eight, seven. because you have to do it in time. As I actually um, went over the song, I've noticed that was like the part that was probably the most challenging, but it's just literally uh, LV doing the, uh, right? So, right? So what we're doing here is sliding into that, from that five, that we're hammering on, and this is really quick, it's going quick. Uh, five, seven, eight. Right, so five, seven, eight, seven, five, seven, right? That, and that's literally it. So take your time on that, it is then it goes back into that so you have so many ways to play this that's what makes it really dope for my for my actual uh, tribute to this uh, to to Coolio, mine was definitely more um, rock, more so like heavy heavy metal type sounding. Um, I feel I just honestly feel like it brings that emotion that uh, the hip hop community feels. But like I said, if you want to make it as close to the song as possible, um, you do want to kind of do this mute, muting technique. Uh, and it's really with your left hand. So you're lifting it up. Like making it choppy. Because uh, that's exactly what it's doing on the actual song. Mine, again, was more so. You see how that, I feel like that's a little bit more emotional. But anyway, 
um, you have multiple ways to play it, guys. Um, and that's what I'm trying to overall get to you guys. Um, but if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel. This is the only channel where you're going to be getting videos like this, guitar covers, uh, uh, reaction videos, and so much more. Um, man, again, rest in peace to Coolio. Uh, this was, uh, it was a shocker just to see that, man. And then his age, too, like, is, like I said, it's just fairly young, man. It's just, it's, it's very unfortunate, but, um, rest in peace to him and condolences to his family. Uh, until next time, guys, peace.